Hey Jared, my hey, name man. is Fernando and I'm from a comic book website called Legion dos Heróis that means Legion of the Heroes in English. Legion of the Heroes. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, uh, I haven't seen the full movie yet, but I really enjoyed what I've seen so far. Thank Blade you. Runner is almost complete in 40 years now, but there are still people talking about what happened in that movie and the true nature of Deckard. Do you think that this new movie will have the same discussions or it, it comes to answer to that questions and finish the discussions? No, I think this is the beginning of a conversation. I think that Blade Runner 2049 really speaks to the times that we're living in in an interesting way. It's going to make people ask a lot of questions. There's a lot of mystery in the film. Uh, there are some questions that are answered and, and other ones that are started. Well, now we're living a revival era of classical franchises in Hollywood. Do you think that Blade Runner have the strength to become a great new saga with spin-offs and new movies, or it's something more personal and kind of different from the actual blockbusters? No, I think Blade Runner is Star Wars. I yeah. think the world of Blade Runner for me is, is as impactful and beautiful and compelling as, as Star Wars. A highly intelligent, sophisticated uh, science fiction adventure. Uh, it's sexy as well and really uh, uh, provocative. Oh, speaking of Star Wars, we already have the Han Solo. How it was to you to work alongside a living legend of Hollywood like Mr. Harrison Ford and the director, Denis Villeneuve? I mean, they're both incredible, just powerhouses, and I have so much respect for Harrison and his career. I don't know how he's made so many movies. It's, it's absolutely insane. And, and Denis, one of the best directors in the world. I mean, he's absolutely one of the best directors uh, uh, alive and it was a, a pleasure a privilege a total honor to work with him yeah. well you're an actor known for doing some very deep study and to be real methodic with your characters how was your preparation to leave wallace in 2049 did you have to do some difficult stuff like in requiem for a dream or dallas bars club or even to leave the joker in suicide squad uh yeah i guess i always look for roles that are challenging Roles that are exciting. This for me was a no-brainer because I, I was such a huge fan of the original and I read this script and I thought it was incredible. The character was fantastic, the dialogue was magical. I had to be a part of it. Well now we're seeing you live in a villain again after the Joker. Uh, how's to you to, to be the bad guy again in this new take of Hollywood? They're not just bad guys, they're disturbed, they have your their feelings. How is to you to be the bad guy, the villain in a great movie like this again? I don't I don't know if I'm I'm so much the villain. I, I don't I, I see him as someone who does uh, what's needed to be done in order to save humanity and sometimes that's difficult. You know, you have to um, make some sacrifices so to speak. I had a lot of fun playing the part. I really, really, it was intoxicating. That's your type of role. I, this certainly was, and I mean, you know, uh, he, it was seductive because he's really highly intelligent, incredibly ambitious, and very, very unique. So I, I just had a blast. Yeah. Can't wait to see him in action. Yeah, yeah, me too, man. Well, thank you for your time. I yeah. hope to see you again, maybe for Blade Runner 2079 or for Suicide Squad 2. Yeah. Uh, or Rock and Rio again. Yeah, sure. Thank you, man. Thank you.